Hey there, my fellow intellectuals. Happy Pi Day. Today, in honor of Pi Day, I thought we would do a problem that involves pi because, of course, that's what you do on Pi Day. And today we're going to be doing integral because I love doing integrals. And I'm going to be wearing my Pi t-shirt, which says, I ate some pie and it was delicious if you couldn't tell. So let's celebrate our Pi Day by getting right into this integral. This integral is the integral from 1 to infinity of dx divided by x times the square root of x to the b subtract 1. And we're going to show that this is equal to pi over b as long as b is greater than 0. So, okay, let's go ahead and do this problem. I'm going to warn you there's quite a bit of substitution in this problem, so I'm sorry if it's kind of complicated, but I will try and be as straightforward as possible in this substitution. So the first substitution I'm going to use is u equals uh, x to the b minus 1. So we're going to convert this integral from the from the x domain into the u domain. Sorry about that. And I'm actually going to zoom out a little bit so you can see me better. Okay, so um, what are we going to do here? We have u is equal to the x to the b minus 1, but we're going to uh, take the derivative of u because we want to rewrite this entire integral, so we need the differential. So du by dx, what is that equal to? Well, just using the power rule, we know that's equal to b, because we're bringing down the power, times x. Now we subtract 1 from the power, b minus 1. And of course the derivative of minus 1 is just 0 because it's a constant, so that's just going to become 0. And we're going to solve for what dx is here. So to solve for dx, we're going to multiply both sides by dx, like this. Multiply by dx, so these will cancel. And then we're going to divide both sides by uh, x, uh, b x to the b subtract 1. So b x to the b subtract 1. And this is going to turn out to be du over b x to the b minus 1 is equal to dx. And we want to rewrite this entire left-hand side in terms of u because we want to make an integral of u now. So to do that, uh, we're going to have to refer back to the relationship we established at the very beginning with our substitution. And uh, furthermore, I'm going to simplify this a little bit. So x to the b minus 1, what is that? So um, x to the b minus 1, if you know your power rules, is just equal to x to the b divided by x. And then conveniently, if we take a 1 over this, this is just equal to x over x to the b. So we're just going to uh, rewrite this now. So uh, the reason I did that is because we have 1 over x to the b minus 1, and so that's equal to x over x to the b. So uh, this now reads du, so x du over b x to the b. And we still want to rewrite this in terms of u. So remember that u is equal to x to the b minus 1, uh, which if we solve for uh, step by step, we can say u plus 1 is equal to x to the b, just by adding 1 to both sides. And then u plus 1 raised to the 1 over b power is equal to x. So that's how we're going to uh, substitute definitions of u down here. Right, so the first part is x, but we know that x is equal to u plus 1 to the 1 over b. So it's equal to uh, u plus 1 to the 1 over b du. And then we have b, x to the b. Remember, that's just u plus 1. OK, so cool. That's all in terms of u now. That's what the, we can rewrite the whole differential. And I'm sorry to say that I didn't say what this was equal to. This is still equal to dx, right? That thing right here that we're going to try and replace. So if we want to switch this into an integral of u, we need to create new bounds. And to create new bounds, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the bounds of x. And we're going to use this relationship to determine what u should be when x is equal to these numbers. So when u, or so when, sorry, when x is equal to 1, this equals what? Well, 1 to the b, 1 to anything is just 1, so it's 1 minus 1, u is equal to 0. So u equals 0 here. Infinity. So uh, u equals infinity to the b minus 1, that's still infinity. So that goes to infinity here. Okay, so let's first rewrite our dx, because that's the first thing in, in this integral here. Um, so we'll have this stuff. We'll have u plus 1 to 1 over b 
to you time, uh, over B. So B, uh, B in the denominator is just a constant. So I'm going to leave it outside just to make things easy. 1 over B. Then we'll have U plus 1. And furthermore in the denominator, we have X times root XB minus 1. What is that in terms of U? Well, we know that X by itself is just U plus 1 to the 1 over B. So we'll plug that back in. U plus 1 to the 1 over B. And then what else? We have root X to the B minus 1. And what is this? Well, we know that u is just equal to x to the b minus 1, so this entire thing must be square root of u, or I like to write it as just u to the 1 half. So uh, hopefully you can see how that conversion was made. Remember, just u to the 1 half is equal to the square root of u. I just like writing 1 halves. That's just my personal preference. So uh, what are we going to do now? Uh, we're going to cancel this factor of u plus 1 to the 1 over b, like this, make things a little bit easier for us. And now the integral reads 1 divided by b 0 to infinity du u plus 1 times u to the 1 half. Okay, so we've simplified it a little bit, but there's still more work to be done. And what we're going to do now is we're going to make another substitution. So I'm going to make another substitution, uh, and we're going to say the substitution is t is equal to u to the 1 half. And we're going to do the same thing we did over here with the u's and the x's. We're going to find a relationship between uh, the differentials and rewrite that in terms of t. So I know it's a lot of, a lot of substitution, but we're almost there. So uh, dt by du, what is that equal to? That's equal to a half u power rule 1 half minus 1. Half minus 1 is equal to negative 1 half or you can rewrite that as 1 over 2u to the 1 half. Okay, so hopefully that makes some sense. And we're going to um, solve for dt now, right? So uh, solving for uh, dt, oh sorry, solving for du. We're gonna solve for du uh, and rewrite that in terms of t. So remember, since we have this relationship, we just need to multiply both sides by uh, 2u to the 1 half, so we'll like that like this. So we're left with um, 2u to the 1 half dt over du is equal to uh, is equal to 1. Then we can bring the du to the other side by just multiplying it out, so I'll just rewrite, erase this and write it as du. And we have to establish what u is in terms of t, because t is equal to u to the 1 half, this u to the 1 half just becomes t, so 2t to the dt is equal to du. Okay, so uh, hopefully we're following along here, and we're going to go once again rewrite this integral. So I, saw, I know there's a lot, of, a lot of rewriting, but that's what you've got to do to solve this problem. So um, we're rewriting this integral one more time here. The limits again don't change because of this relationship between t and u. So u to the one half, uh, u equals zero, t is equal to zero, and u the infin u the one half to the infinity. That's just you know that's t is equal to infinity. So again zero to infinity. Du now is now just two t dt. What's u plus one? So u plus one. Well. If we square both sides of this relationship right here, t squared is equal to u, and then u plus 1, just so plus 1, plus 1. So u plus 1 is t squared plus 1. So this is t squared plus 1 times u to the 1 half. u to the 1 half is just equal to t. So here we go, t. OK, looking good so far. Now the t's can cancel. t here, t here can cancel. And now we're left with uh, the following integral. So we're now I'm going to go to green now. We have 2 divided by b, pulling out the constant. We have 0 to infinity of dt over t squared plus 1. OK. And we're going to make one last substitution. Are you ready for it? Just one last one, and we're there. I promise you, we are so close. So the last substitution we're going to make is we're going to say that uh, t is equal to tangent of theta, which means dt by d theta 
is equal to secant squared of theta. Cancel the d theta, or multiply both sides by d theta, and we'll get dt is equal to secant squared theta d theta. Okay, so what's it going to be, huh? Um, one last line, 2 over b. So when uh, t is equal to 0, tangent uh, or theta should be equal to 0 when... Um, Sorry, so this is t is equal to 0 here, right? Then t equals infinity right there. But when t is equal to 0, t is equal to 0, what, what's the angle theta that makes this 0? Well, on the region that uh, tangent is defined from 0 to pi over 2, that's just 0. And then infinity happens because tan theta, right, is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. And if we look in between the regions 0 and pi over 2, where we can find tangent, Cosine of theta, remember, is zero at pi, at pi over two. So at pi over two, tangent becomes infinity or undefined. We're just gonna say it's infinity for this purpose. So um, the infinity bound becomes pi over two right here. Okay, and more rewriting. So we have uh, secant squared theta d theta over t squared plus 1, t is tan theta, so it's tan squared theta plus 1. Now, those of you who remember your trig identities know that secant squared of theta is equal to tan squared of theta plus 1. So these cancel. How convenient. How very convenient. We're finally at the end because we now we have 2 divided by b, the integral of 0 to pi over 2, just d theta. What does that mean? Well, the integral of d theta is just theta, 2 over b, theta evaluated from 0 to pi over 2, which is just equal to pi over 2, right? Because <laughs> this is just pi over 2 minus 0, so 2 over b times pi over 2. What do you know? Those 2's cancel. How pretty. And we are left with the answer we're looking for pi divided by b. So there it is, folks, pi over b. This long, arduous integral ends up being the thing I just told you so. But aren't you glad you know how to do it now? So I just wanted to say thank you for everyone um, who watched the video. I hope it was clear enough and you could follow the derivation and make sense. And I hope you all have a wonderful pie day and eat some delicious pie. So until next time, I will be gone.